know is how to reinforce it. Yeah, and handle them, some things you'll and teach them. And how to handle them. And that's the, the part that is the most important. Because if the dog does the work, <clears throat> when you blow the whistle or say come or right, sit, right. then you don't have to know how to do the collar or anything. So how much longer does Pablo have to go in your program before he's ready to go home? Uh, that's relative, it really okay. is. But as far as based on his skill. Until he's done with this first stage, it's a five week program. What's he been here, three weeks, Richard? Three, four weeks? It's uh, today, but Okay, so he's four weeks into the five. We're doing the refining touches on it. As you see, he's pretty darn good as he is. But just like there, the sit whistle needs to come right now. Yeah. So this week, we'll reinforce some of that at yeah. the very end. Because he understands the reinforcement now, right. but before he didn't. Right. happy ultimately that's your treat there's no pressure meaning no burn with the collar right if you go on and do a hundred percent of what I've asked you to do right so then they learn to work happy yeah they learn to work with style because they know if they just do it right they're getting praise right if they don't and they give no effort is where they get the, the nick with the collar right so they learn after a while, like anybody else. Well, that particular male dog has kind of a little bit of a submissive personality. Anyway, you could ruin that dog if oh, you were too hard on him. Absolutely. He's a real pleaser, that guy. That's yeah. a, a real good comment that you make. These collars are one through six. He's working now on a three, yep. a middle number. If you ever went up to a six on this dog, he'd be on his belly. Absolutely. So you have to learn as a trainer what levels to use to make that dog successful right. in learning how to turn the pressure off on yep. his own. Okay. Gun dog stuff is the dog has to feel you work with your voice. That's why it's healed Sit. here, and it's not a lot of right. commands like this where the dog's looking up at you. When the dog is looking out, he's seeing the potential birds that are falling. Right. If he doesn't see the birds, he can't go retrieve them. So that's what we're doing. We're teaching him to understand that. Now the eye contact comes in when he's away from you. That's when that dog should have eye contact to you only. I see. Because then is when he needs to take commands from you. When he's at your side, he needs to take the commands from your voice and look out at what's going on there so he can see what birds are falling. Right, right. You'll see how happy he's working. Yeah. He's, I have 